The tower rotation map in the library shows the four places of protection on the Island of Mist, each of which hides a linking book to another age. These locations can be accessed in any order. Today, I will be unlocking the book in this location, which links to the Stone Ship Age. With the tower rotation set to the Stone Ship location, ascend to the top of the tower. Under the key symbol, you will find a set of three dates and times. As I'm playing a randomized game, your dates and times will likely be different. Take a picture of this important information. The narrow window at the other side of the tower looks over the sunken ship at the dock. This is where the Stone Ship Age linking book is hidden. Dig the elevator back down to the library. You will find the entrance to the library is closed, but pulling on the handle below the portrait to the right of the bookcase will open it. Unfortunately, you'll quickly find you cannot access the sunken ship, nor are there any mechanisms to interact with here. The pieces to this puzzle lie elsewhere. As always, explore the island in the library. In front of the library is a garden water feature containing a sunken model ship, clearly echoing the ship at the dock. Around the pool are eight devices, each with a yellow knob. Turning the knob reveals a glowing symbol. If you have explored the books in the library, you will have seen these symbols before as they are on the last eight pages of the Stone Ship Age book each accompanied by a sketch of a constellation of stars. The final piece of this puzzle is in the building to the right of the library. Pressing the button to the left of the door allows access. Note the fleeting glimpse of stars on the dome interior before the brightening lights wash them out. Turning around, you will notice a button to the right which closes the door and turns off the lights. The dome is now full of stars. In the center of the room is a machine into which you can enter dates and times. Pressing the circular white button rotates the stars, placing a different set of stars onto the view screen. You are likely realizing that you need to enter into this device the dates and times that you found under the key in the tower, and you're right. But if you are playing the game in VR, I would recommend returning to the library to grab the Stone Ship Age book. It is going to be convenient to have it with you, but make sure to turn off Instant Book Return in the game settings. You'll see why in a moment. Return to the observatory with the Stone Ship Age book. Turn off the lights and enter the first date and time. Unfortunately, viewing your photos will cause you to drop the book, but if you have Instant Book Return turned off, as I suggested, the book will simply fall to your feet where you can pick it up again. Check the date and time carefully. One note of caution is that the time on this device is based upon a 24-hour clock. For example, if your time is 3.45 p.m., it must be entered as 15.45. You'll know when you got it right when the background stars disappear in the viewer, leaving only the constellation stars. With the date and time correctly entered, look for the matching constellation in the book, and note the accompanying symbol. After you have determined the three symbols, return to the mechanisms by the pool. Turn on the three that hold your symbols while making sure the other five are off. Once you have it right, the model ship in the center of the pool will rise out of the water, and upon returning to the dock, you will discover that the full scale ship has risen as well. The linking book is in a small cabin at the aft of the ship. You can link to the stone ship age by placing your hand over the panel, but be warned. Once in Stone Ship or in any of the other ages, you will not be able to return to Mist Island until you have found the linking book hidden in that age. You can now access the Stone Ship Age linking book anytime you like, pulling you ever deeper into the story of Mist.